What are the three best premium aircraft under $60 you can buy in the game? Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it, guys. So, I'm going to say, talk about a list of vehicles that are the best premiums you can buy under $60. And at the end of the video, I will leave you a little tip on when to buy them as well. Because there's always a better time to buy than now, of course. Uh, going for the third place and technically the fourth place, we can talk about the SU-25K and the A-10A. They have the same price tag of $59.99, they have the same BR of a 10.0, and of course they're both two cast aircraft, meaning that they do very well in the ground attack capability. They are indeed very different than each other. The SU-25K has more speed, it has... Um, more armor in a general way, while the A-10 has a better gun and a better guided weaponry. So it depends on what you like, basically, right? They both have all aspect missiles with the A-9L uh, in the A-10 and the R-60M in the SU-25K. And of course, they both have flares, RWRs, and all the packages that a CAS aircraft can have, right? The end of, at the end of the day, it depends on personal preference each uh, which of these you will buy, right? Uh, the SU-25, in my opinion, personally, I love it more. More on the sense of because of the speed. I love aircraft that are faster normally and have more armor. Uh, but of course, the A-10 is an amazing aircraft. And for the average player, it's probably a better option because of the guided weaponry. You can stay away from the AA systems and still get kills with it. So, yeah, it's a lot better on that part. And put it to, in putting it into, into a, like a simpler way... Um, the, it depends on the country that you are actually grinding, right? I mean, they are both from the main nations, uh, or the biggest nations in the game for aircraft, right? So, uh, it depends on the nation you want. If you want the US, of course, the A-10 will be the best premium you can buy in the US tech tree under $60. Uh, but there is a little bonus here. Uh, if you are going to buy the A-10, consider the F-5C for a little bit. Why? Because the F5C is only $5 more, and in my opinion, it is a better premium, of course. Um, it is an aircraft that is at a higher rank, meaning that you will have more um, pro like rewards for it, because you can technically research rank 8 with it. Okay, guys? Remember, these packages all come with Golden Eagles and Premium Time as well. For the second one, I have an aircraft that is not a pack vehicle, it's a GE vehicle, which is the good old MiG-21S. In my opinion, the best Soviet premium you can buy under $60, and it's even cheaper than that. It's a 9.7 premium fish pet, uh, which is a, basically an upgrade over the older MiG-21 PFM. It only costs 8,910 GE, meaning that around... Um, 44 dollars okay so it is kind of a mix between the mf and the pfm and it's a lot cheaper you know the idea here is that it has the engine of the mf so the performance of the mf having the guns uh and the missiles of the pfm so the gun itself in, is in a pod look like the pfm is and the missiles are pretty much similar to the pfm with the addition of two extra missiles so you have the r3s and the r3r being the main missiles okay um, of course it doesn't have any type of countermeasures and the radar is pretty limited the rwr is limited but at the end of the day you are still a 9.7 mig 21 with a performance of a mig 21 mf so it's amazing it really really is the thing is that it is probably the best option for the U uh, USSR because it's way cheaper than anything else. Like, way cheaper. I mean, at $44, I would probably include in other lists when we do them if this video goes well. So, for example, if I would do a video of $50 or $45 uh, premiums, uh, the MiG-21 would be there. Uh, so, instead of buying a $70 premium um, or even higher price than that, depending on the country, um, a MiG-21S is $44, giving you t giving you an amazing premium aircraft. Or, of course, remember, it doesn't have premium time with it, and it doesn't have a GE coming with it, and that's one of the main reasons why it's so cheap. But with the performance that it has, it is one of the best options overall for a premium, and the best that the Soviet Union has for sure under $60. 
and then we go for the first one the best aircraft you can buy under $60 in a premium tag the A5C guys this aircraft is pretty pretty good remember this is a Q5 an exported Q5 it is a 10.0 premium um, on the Chinese tech tree at rank 6 so you can research even uh, rank 7 of course it has the price tag of uh, $59.99 with the uh, bonus 2000 GE as well and of course the um, uh, the premium time um, it's a great option for those who don't want to pay an extra $10 for a J7D uh, so it has a similar performance on the MiG-19 uh, dog fighting capability is amazing, acceleration is amazing, uh, it doesn't have the biggest, you know, max speed in the game, but it doesn't need to, it's still a very good combination at that BR uh, of performance, and of course in the air-to-air -air capability it has one of the best missiles in the game uh, at that BR, which is the Magic, especially after the buff, the Magic is an amazing missile, guys, it really makes it up for being um, bad for a very long time, not bad, I mean, it never was a bad missile, but right now it, it's where it should have been always, right? And of course, you can always count on CCIP for deploying non-guided um, bombs and rockets as well, uh, in the air-to-ground role as well, so it is a very, very good overall aircraft, having a very low, having an RWR and flares, which always help, even though it's not a lot, it's still 18, it does help a lot, um, it's the main selling point of this aircraft is the performance together with two magics. This kind of guarantee you, uh, if you know what you're doing, two kills each game, you know, because the magic is an amazing missile. Of course, remember, flares and stuff, it's not a magic two, but still, it is a pretty good missile. And uh, remember, the guns are probably the only major drawback from this aircraft. It only has two 23mm that are based off of the NR-23 guns from the old days of the MiG-15, right? So, uh, they're not the greatest thing ever. They they don't do a lot of damage, remember that. But they are indeed okay guns for use uh, if you know what you're doing, okay guys? So these are the aircraft, but remember I said about our tip? Well, guys, remember in around one month, a little bit less than one month, we will have the Victory Day sale probably on the store. And from time to time, these vehicles, and especially the MiG-21S uh, being a premium, uh, they have 50% offs or maybe less than that, depending on the vehicle and stuff. But normally they have a big sale happening in Victory Day, meaning that you can have these aircraft paying a lot less than you would. So a $60 aircraft, that is, as I said, can be even... Uh, 30 40 dollars so um yeah that li this list becomes even better with that in mind paying a lot less for a lot higher br um premium aircraft okay but this is it i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments if i forgot any of the aircraft that you have um that you like playing in this under 60 dollar mark and yeah i see you guys on the next one bye subscribe see ya